Hi everyone, I am Ishwarya Bala and this is my first YouTube video. So, hi guys. Uh, I was thinking what YouTube video should I put up because I've got so many ideas in my mind. But I was like, why not do something that I've been really into for the past few days. Actually, not days, for the past one and a half years or so, I've been really into taking care of my skin. So I thought, why, why not show a current skincare routine where you guys can pick up some ideas or some new products. So, if you're interested in watching my current skincare routine or even if you're not, let's just get into it. So, I've already washed my face and I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser or the Clean and Clear one. These two are my absolute, absolute favorite face washes. Um, according to my mood, I use, you know, in the morning I use this and at the night I use this or, you know, however I feel. But these two work like magic like absolute magic on your skin this one right here is completely chemical free fragrance free parabens free and all it does not have anything bad it's literally magic in a bottle it won't strip off you know the moisture from your face and make you feel like a desert you know even after you wash your face so after washing my face i uh, generally exfoliate but not every day at least twice a week and i don't use the same scrub like i don't stick to a single particular scrub right now i'm using the same type gentle smoothing oatmeal scrub and mask i don't use it as a mask though but then as a scrub it it's a good scrub as in i can't say it does wonders to your skin or anything as such but then it's a good scrub it smells really yummy its granules are really small so you know it gets into your blackheads you know all those places so yeah a good scrub uh, you really need to exfoliate your skin because i my skin tends to get a lot of blackheads and whiteheads you know here here under my lips so i really need to exfoliate and i think you should exfoliate at least once or twice a week so that you know your skin does not look crusty i'm going to tie my hair because i don't want it all over my face so the next step is toning if there's one product that i urge you to buy out of all of these products it has to has to be the body shop vitamin e hydrating toner i'm a dry skin completely desert my skin is a desert and when it say when it says hydrating it actually means it when you use it you you immediately feel your skin you know plumped up i'm just going to i'm going to do my skin care while talking to you guys so um i won't say it's um affordable but you know it's not like it's not really expensive like it's worth the money it's completely completely worth the money it instantly plumps your face up i haven't used a better toner than this ever i keep buying bottles of this because you know i it, it's generally always out of stock on nika and i really don't want to go to the bottle shop and buy the bottle so i just keep buying bottles of this i'm telling you guys if there is one product you need to try this especially if you have dry skin you're going to love it i generally take my time in toning because i genuinely feel it makes a difference um i have seen a difference in my skin you know looking more plumpier more more moisturized more you know before it used to look thirsty and now it does not look thirsty that's what i'm like that's the only thing and i like toning is my favorite step so i like i take my time and i nicely tone my face so once that is done uh in day like while the daytime i just go ahead with the i let it set i let it go into my skin and i just go ahead with the moisturizer but there was this one step that i used to do uh before which i've stopped doing right now because it's really hot if you feel your skin is really irritated and if you feel like you know it's uh it's not calm you can use a aloe vera gel or any kind of a gel you know even at home you can just you can just cut your aloe vera plant and take the gel and apply you really feel calm so while the winter season i used to after toning my face i used to apply that gel and just let it soak in for a minute or two and then go ahead with my moisturizer i have three favorite moisturizers that i really love but the one that i'm absolutely loving right now is this one this is emoline it's a drugstore moisturizer pocket friendly and does the job really well uh i really love this moisturizer i'm going to show you the other two then i'm going to apply this right now see that you can clearly see how much i love it there's nothing in it but i'm just going to you know squeeze it out i take this much i have really dry skin i want to really massage it into my face 
you know don't go ham on your face just be gentle and yeah that's it so this is just for 299 rupees if i'm not wrong 229 rupees and you can get it in any drug store any medical shop it's called emoline and if you're a dry skin girl buy it buy it and you'll know what i'm talking about it really it really does the job it really, your skin stays hydrated for a very very long time and it's fragrance free you know it's amazing so the other two moisturizers that i was talking about is this saint eyes uh, collagen and elastin moisturizer this is a huge tub last at least 2 to 1 and a half 3 months this i bought it from beautiful you also find it on amazon but then i think on amazon you get it you know 50 60 rupees uh more expensive another favorite one this one this is this is the moisturizer that i that i got to know about through youtube this is the garnier wrinkle lift moisturizer i don't know what it does for your wrinkles and all but it's a beautiful beautiful moisturizer you know it's that kind of a moisturizer that gives you that glowy effect it's really good it's really inexpensive and it does the job so these three are my favorite moisturizers i i like using moisturizers that are not that expensive because i use a moisturizer at least 3 to 4 times a day and i need something that i can buy again and again and these are amazing so after moisturizer i never so i used to not do this before okay i used to never apply um, sunscreen never not even when i'm going out never in the recent times i have just started using it. just use a sunscreen even if you're sitting at home even if you're not going out just use the sunscreen or all this is going to be of no use so you know i'm going to use it now the one that i use is la shield or la shield i don't know what is it called also i suggest you or i advise you to invest to invest in a good sunscreen and not you know settle for a sunscreen that you know because it's less expensive i'll just use it because i have to use it every day because sunscreen really needs to do the job it really needs to take care of your skin so i suggest find out a good sunscreen that works out for you that works for your skin does not make you feel oily does not leave a white cast this one works amazing for me it does not leave a white cast it has a gel formula i'm going to show it to you i'm just going to apply it and show it it literally goes into my skin and yeah you don't even feel it in your skin so skin yeah do you see there's no white there's no white cast it does not have a tint it's gel it does not make me feel greasy so for that i just apply lip balm so i'm just going to do that nivea fruity lip care it is the best lip balm that i've ever used till date i have already reviewed it on instagram so go follow my instagram yeah i don't know what else to say it's amazing just i'm just going to apply my lip balm and that's that's all i applied to one yeah I don't know how to explain a lip balm. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's just forty five rupees. It's amazing. Just go buy it. That's it. That's my really simple small skincare routine. If you know, um, no, you need to invest time and a little bit of money. You don't need to buy really expensive products. I think none of the products here are really expensive except for this. All of the other things are. you know 500 and below takes a lot of time for your skin to show the effects so you can't just do it for a month and go like ah it's not working i'm not going to do it no you need to do it continuously so that you see the change so yeah and if you want to keep it just short you can just wash your face and moisturize your face uh you know you don't have to do the whole process but i'd suggest you if you have the time and if you can you should do the whole thing I really hope you guys uh, like my video, and I'm really excited to be on YouTube and finally start my YouTube channel. And yeah, I will catch you in my next video. Bye.